Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com and this is Mathy, my mascot and assistant. In this lesson we're gonna study the average or the mean, also a little bit about the mode. Now, the mean is calculated this way. It is the sum of all data items you have divided by however many you have. And you probably already know how to calculate it. For example, here if we have a bunch of numbers, we add them all together and then we divide by however many numbers there are. But what does it mean? Let's say, for example, that these little distances here, these lines here, are your numbers. They could be, for example, the distances that the caterpillar has crawled on different days, or distances that your dad has driven on different days, or they could be any numbers, ages, whatever. Just some numbers, a small number, bigger number, way bigger number, small number, medium number, and so on. So, if we add them all together, we get this long line. That's like the adding them all together, this long thing. And if we divide that by however many there are, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, we divide that by 8 and get the average, get the mean, then it looks like this. We can divide this whole long line into 8 parts equally, and this distance would be the mean. Okay? If the caterpillar crawled this much each day, then in eight days it would have crawled the same distance as if, if it had been crawling different distances, okay? So average is like evening it out, finding like the uh, balance point of your whole data set. Let's say that these are ages of eight students in some class or club. To calculate the mean, we will add them and then divide by eight. And our mean, the mean that we will get, will be somewhere in between. It's not going to be less than 15, it's not going to be more than 21. It's going to be somewhere like maybe 19 or 20 maybe even. I'm guessing 19. Okay, so let's add these numbers and see what we get. Now 21 and 19 together are 40. And these two together are 31. So here I have 4 times 20 and 1. So that's 81. And then these two are 71. Okay, 81 and 71. 152. And now divide that by 8. I'm going to use long division. I want to have a decimal in it, so I'll put decimal zeros here to prepare for that. 8 goes to 15 once, to 72, 9 times. Oh, well, that's an even division then, okay? The average is 19. Okay, and that sort of describes this group of eight students, that the average age is 19. There's some that are less than 19 years old, some that are more than 19 years old, okay? But if you took the sum of the ages, you will get the same sum if all eight students had been 19 years old. Here are weights of some dogs in kilograms. Maybe it's in a kennel, they have a batch of dogs or something. And I calculated the mean. It's 12.64 kilograms, okay? Some dogs weigh 9, almost 11, 12, 8.7, 9, something to 13. Now the question is, how will this change if this dog leaves the kennel? The dog that weighs 25 kilograms. It's way bigger than these other dogs. It's the biggest dog, okay? Can you tell? How is the mean going to change? Is it going to increase, decrease, stay the same? It's going to decrease, right? Because now, our batch of dogs doesn't have the biggest dog. If we even out the weights, so to speak, then the mean will decrease. Let's calculate the new mean if this dog is gone. Okay? Again, these two together add up to 20. Okay, so I have 20. Then these two are 25. Then over here, I'll write here 8.7 and 9.8. Add. Is 10, 20, 23.5. And now, long division, we have one, two, three, six dogs left, okay? And then to three, it goes zero times to 35, uh, five times. And it would be one more zero, okay? Three. So, Maybe I want to round it here though, after all, so we will get, the new average will be 10.6 kilograms. Okay, so the average actually dropped over 2 kilograms just by removing that one dog. Now here, 
Maybe this is a doctor's office. How many patients did this doctor have? He kept track. And we're going to make a line graph out of this and then calculate the average and see how we can plot that in the line graph. Let me first make the line graph. You remember that I will put a dot for each of these, then connect them with lines. Monday, 13. Tuesday is 9. Wednesday is 7. Then comes 10. Then 14. And then Saturday, 8. Okay. I'll save time and not use a ruler. Kind of zigzaggy experience. And now let's calculate the average. We'll take these numbers and add them. Okay, here's 20. These two make 20. You always want to look for pairs like that when you're adding. Okay. And then these two make 19 and these two make 22. And then add these. So we will get 11 and then 6. The sum is 61 divided by 6. But that's almost like 60 divided by 6 equals 10. And then a 1 divided by 6 is 1 sixth. Okay. The average is just a little bit more than 10. And let me use a color. Over here, I can plot the average here as a line. There. And now you can clearly see which days he had more than average number of patients which days he had less than average number of patients, or close to average. This was close to average, close to average. These two days were like peaks, way more than average, and then these two days were way less, okay? In this last problem, favorite berry, this is, by the way, a problem from Matthew. So thank you, Matthew. And he said it's a little bit challenging, okay? If you can't estimate the average, then here's your data. Can you do that? Let's say I would start by estimating however many people there are. Maybe there's 240 here, then the raspberry peoples are 145. Just estimating you know, roughly 320 and uh, what would that be, 60 maybe, and 30 and uh, 40? I don't know. Then could you calculate the average? The answer is no. You cannot calculate the average, even though there are numbers here. You cannot just go adding them. If you add those numbers and then you, you divide it, you'll get a number, right? I mean, what does it mean in the context of a favorite berry? You see, we need to think back what produced this graph. What kind of data was there? See, this is data, data items here, these individual numbers, okay? Or here. What kind of individual things, data items were there that this bar graph was made out of? Somebody went and asked a bunch of people a question, and what did these people answer? Somebody asked them, what's your favorite berry? And one person answered, blueberry, right? Another person answered, strawberry. What's that, Matthew? Oh, your favorite berry is blueberry. We know that. And then a third person answered this berry, and the fourth person answered that berry. You have to imagine that there would be like a list of five, six hundred words of these kind of words, you know, blueberry, strawberry, raspberry, blueberry, blueberry, strawberry, strawberry. A long list of words is the original data. And from that, you cannot calculate anything because they are words. You cannot add them, okay? So from this, we cannot calculate average. You cannot calculate average from a data that is just words. But we can figure out the mode. Mode is the most frequently occurring data item. Whatever was most popular, so to speak. Okay? In this case, it is strawberry. But that's all we can do. We can make a bar graph and we can figure out the mode, but we cannot calculate the mean or the average in this case.